hashtag, which means we have been assembled much like the Avengers for one night only to destroy sadness. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kate. I'm Addie. Josh. Golly gee, I'm Clara C. <laughs> and I'm Kimberly. Susan. And I'm Sarah Jo. Woo! Uh, awesome. So our first game tonight is called Objection. This is for everybody. Uh, what I need a suggestion from you, if you guys have ever seen a little show called Law and Order, or The People's Court, or Judge Judy, <laughs> Or that one with Judge Wapner? <laughs> People's Court! People's Court! I said it twice! People's Court and Judge Wapner, same show, whoops. <laughs> uh, but here we are anyway, still here in this moment. Uh, uh, so what I need from you is I need a suggestion of an unusual relationship. An unusual relationship that might land you on a show like People's Court or Judge Judy. Incest. Okay, maybe a happier, <laughs> maybe a happier more kind of, oh, I know. Dog and dog Do what? Dog and dog walker. Oh, dog and dog walker. Oh, that is definitely our suggestion. Dog and dog walker. Um, excuse me, where is my bench? I need a bench. I am the judge. I will not look backwards. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Please bring me the case of the dog and the dog walker. Yes, dog walker, that's us. Uh, well, you're the dog. Yes, uh, right. I was walking my dog, you see, uh, all along this line on this. It was, it was terrible. And then all of a sudden, my, my dog just bit me. Or the, the person said, yo! Excuse me, ma'am, wow. did you need some assistance? Oh, golly, yes! Oh, boy! I um, can't believe well, do, do you know this, this dog? I don't know. Well, I, I could. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Yes, I yes? do. Well, well, oh, the Get off, dogs. you scoundrel! Right. Um, go? Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh. You're safe now. Oh. Objection. Yes. I think she was encouraging that dog to bite her. Oh, you think she was encouraging that dog to bite her? Uh, sustain. Let's see that. Get her, boy! Get her! Get her! Get her! Get her! I think this dog's gonna bite me. Get her! Get her! <laughs> yes. What you get for taking my boyfriend, Gladys? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> 
Like if you had had those lucky charms, you Objection! Would I think she sounded like Gollum. <laughs> That's a ring. Oh, wow. Sustained. <laughs> character that you think uh, we should set Josh up with? Jennifer Lopez. Ooh. Jennifer Lopez? Jennifer Lopez. All right. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. I, I'm feeling Jennifer Lopez right here. Yes? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she seems very excited about that. <laughs> um, uh, for our next suggestion, I need a suggestion of um, our next bachelorette is slowly turning into something. She's slowly turning into an animal or a mythical creature. Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bachelorette, could we get a suggestion of an object that you uh, interact with on a daily basis, something that's part of your daily door. life? A door. <laughs> all right. Um, yes, all right. So, uh, lucky bachelorette number three um, is is a door. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, review for us. Adorable. Review for us. <laughs> who you are? I am turning into Nessie. I'm Jenny from the block. <laughs> Knock, knock. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on the count of three, we're going to say, come back, Josh. One, back, two, Josh. come back, Josh. Josh. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's take a moment and talk about how numbers he work. Couldn't <laughs> he couldn't hear that. He couldn't hear Josh Trace. I'm pretty sure I just heard a mathematician uh, back there. I don't know. All right, uh, one, two, three. Come back. two hours each, but we've decided people don't care. So we're instead going to try to see if we can get this done in five minutes. Uh, uh, Josh, uh, tell us a little about yourself, what you're looking for in a woman. Yeah, what's up? Uh, so I'm that like really like douchey guy you all hate, uh, but my name is Ryan. Uh, oh, Ryan. <laughs> but I own three boats, I don't have a job, and I've never been with a woman before, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Life imitating art right now. All right. So, uh, so Josh, do you have a do you have a question for our three bachelorettes here? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. All right. Uh, so my first question is like, what would you do on the ideal first date? Ooh, what would I do on the ideal first date? <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe that the idealist thing that you can possibly do on the first date is to hide. <laughs> Contestant number two, the floor's yours. Hey, um, well, 
<laughs> I'd, um, I'd probably start by like trying to cross the street and like maybe if a dumpster was like running down the hill, um, you could jump out and save me. <laughs> and, then, and then we could start like being like co-stars in a romantic comedy. Yeah. 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 That sounds romantic somehow. Uh, contestant number three, what about you? I like wood. <laughs>
19, I was, I was barely alive then. <laughs> She's got a big booty. I yeah. loved you as a judge on American Idol. Oh yeah, you right, girl. Paula Abdul? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not Brandy bad. Jackson? Are you kidding me? I'm not from the 80s, yo. I mean, I was a kid. No? Mm? Okay. Hispanic. Selena. But not. <laughs> Celine Dion, is that you? <laughs> to settle down. Uh, so our next thing is called He Said, She Said. This is a fun little game. It has a fun little, uh, you know, uh, thing to it. I'm not going to explain it. You'll figure it out. You're smart people. It's uh, for Clara, Josh, and Addie. Um, what I need is a suggestion of a place where a lot of people gather. Um, you know, like a... Church. Airport. Church. Oh, goodness Church. gracious. I think I heard airport. So I think I'm going to go with airport. <laughs> um, so yeah. So this is a fun little game. Let me uh, have our characters please uh, introduce themselves for you and see if you can figure out the trick. Oh, oh my gosh, my name is Sally Boy. Uh, I'm super late. I can't believe that my flight got diverted 50 times and I'm still here at this airport. Oh, oh Sally B, where are, you, where are you headed? Oh gosh, I'm going to Portland. I, I hear it's crazy kooky. <laughs> All right. Uh, your name one more time? Sally Boy. Oh, thank you, Sally Boy. Thank you, Sally. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am Frederick Fredrickson, the famous pilot. <laughs> yep, look at me. Look at me fly this plane. Look at me. I'm the goofy pilot you never wanted. <laughs> uh, how did you get into piloting? Oh, well, one day I just saw an ad in the local paper saying, hey, want to fly a plane? And I was like, sure. So, uh, any training? No training at all. Uh, your name, one more time, your name? Frederick Fredrickson. Of course, thank you, Frederick Fredrickson. And finally? What's up? My name's Chet Brickman. <laughs> and I'm the handsiest TSA agent you ever I got into this job for one reason and one reason only. Actually, two. One, looking in people's stuff. What you got in there, bud? What you got? What you got? I'm gonna see it. And then number two, putting my hands on things and <laughs> And uh, that's all the detail I'm going to go in, because it's 7 p.m. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, uh, other than time-telling, do you have uh, any other skills we should know about? I'm really good at karate. Uh, and, uh, your, your name one more time? Chet Brickman. Uh, fantastic. Uh, let's review very quickly, just a quick review of who you are for us. Oh, hi. I'm Sally Boy. Thank you. Hello, I'm Frederick Fredericks in the pilot. Chet Brickman at your service. <laughs> we're going to count them down. We're going to say three, two, one, action. And we're going to see how these characters interact with each other. How about that, all right? Yeah. Three, two, one, action. Oh, I'm so late. I'm so late. Oh, my gosh. I'm Frederick Fredericks in the pilot of your plane today. How are you? Oh man, I can't believe it. How could you be off the plane? I uh, take a lot of naps before I fly. <laughs> also drink a lot of booze. Wait, 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 wait. Did you all just bypass security? This is a secure facility. I need to see what you got up in your junk there. <laughs> firm. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should leave you two alone. Uh, I better get the plane thing started. Feel free to join me in a bit. <laughs> oh, golly. I, I, I gotta get on that plane. I just can't even. I, I gotta go. <laughs> I mean, aren't you gonna offer me dinner or something? <laughs> Kind of depends on what
what you got in your wallet. <laughs> oh, oh I got a, 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 a bunch of plastic. <laughs> like that grocery savers card. <laughs> I, uh, I also shop at Kroger's. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you got me. I'm too kooky for this. I just like to save money and love. <laughs> Did somebody say love? It's your pilot, Frederick Fredrickson. I got some bad news. The plane is broken. We won't be flying anytime soon. Well, if uh, that's the case, then how would you feel about taking out all of your carefully packed pieces of clothing and then laying them out so I can inspect them and determine what kind of person you are. <laughs> what, are what are you doing after this? Oh my, oh man, I don't, I can't believe you get to judge how I fold. <laughs> I'm like a pretzel. Are you like one of those Marie Kondo people that fold their thing in threes now? <laughs> you know I love that Netflix show she's just so wonderful my cable's out I haven't seen television in 45 years <laughs> oh. I just wanted to add that to the conversation I want to be included <laughs> <laughs> oh gee pilot can't you fix a plane ah sure I could uh, if only I had a wallet with a grocery saving card from Kroger's. I don't know why I don't know why that'll fix it, but just take my word for it, it couldn't hurt. Well, maybe a mango for free will help. That also sounds reasonable. <laughs> that sounds like a very similar item. Vitamin Good. C. Good thing you have one in your bag here. Now, mango in hand, I suppose I can carry you off into the sunset, Sally. How's that sound? Oh, I love sunsets. Do we get to fly into the sunset? Because I sure would like to leave. No, the plane's grounded. You know what? I would love to carry you off in one of these little uh, suitcases that's big enough to hold people. <laughs> I keep it for a special occasion in the pilot's lounge for just moments like this. Oh! Oh, golly gee! Oh! <laughs> Some versions of Hansel 
Hansel and Gretel, they do the breadcrumb thing, works perfectly fine, they go home, nothing happens. Uh, other versions, they, they, they get lost and they get in trouble with the witch, who either kills them or they kill her. Okay, I'm so glad. Wait, what was that? They like risk. They like risk? Oh, these are risk loving. You typically don't wander away from your parents or you get killed by a witch. Oh. They may or may not be a virgin. <laughs> Every fairy tale needs a moral, so that's great. Uh, don't leave your parents or you'll get killed by a virgin. Which, cool. Uh, you know what? That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and see this fairy tale. Uh, uh, let's count them down. Three, Three two, one. one. Action. Oh. oh, I'm all about adrenaline, Gretel. Oh my gosh, Hansel. Oh man, what oh, are we doing man. this stream? I want in. <laughs> 